Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the next installment of my Grand Turismo 5 series. Uh, this is race for the season and this race is on to Sukuba, Sukuba, however you pronounce it. So um, jump straight into the race here and let you know what's going on. So starting here, a little bit down the grid. Uh, starting 8 from the grid out of 9, so got a decent, decent turnout for this race. So into the first corner, all looking pretty tidy so far. Just settling in for 8th place there. Just getting a little bit tight there. Nathan gets pushed out wide. Managed to get past him. Just following Eric now. So into the hairpin we go. Up the inside of Eric, give him a little tap as we go. Now following Brian. Around the right hander under the, the little tyre bridge. A few people on the grass there. Oh, Eric bumps Tristan. And I bumped into Eric. I think he then goes into Mike, so it was a bit of a, a knock on effect there. I get a nudge from Eric from behind. While that was happening, Mike goes off into the gravel as well. It was all going on there into that hairpin. So, doing the straight, got past Eric. Chasing Brian now. So, into the final corner we go. Just round this to complete lap one. Give him a tap there as well. Slow down a bit more than I expected. Into the first corner, Eric, don't know how clue Eric was doing there, he just dived straight up the inside. Thankfully he went invisible, didn't take me out at all. So, just following Brian here, around the hairpin again. So, around the right hander here, Brian goes a little bit tight. Managed to get a little bit of a run on him here. No, not enough to do to make a pass into the second hairpin. So just follow him, so he's got Tristan in front of him as well, so he'll be looking to make a pass on pass on Tristan. So up the state we go, just follow Brian, get a slip through, see if we can make a, a pass into the final corner. So no, just back off a little bit there, just stayed behind him, waiting for it to make a, a mistake. So on to lap three we go. This race so far, it's pretty been better than the other two anyway. Honestly, I don't think it could have got much worse. Those last two races were pretty deadful, crashing, just getting damaged, everything. Everything I didn't want that happened, so this race has been good so far. Everybody's nice and packed around this short track. So, following uh, Tristan and Brian here, to see if we can get past them, but no damage so far in the car. Don't know if Brian's got anything. Brian might have a bit of damage from the kind of bumping and bashing on lap one. But he seems to be coping well so far anyway if he does. So both of us take a tight line of the hairpin there. Didn't really work out for us. So again, just following up the straight. He's he's got Tristan slip through him as well, so he's he's playing away from me as, as I try to catch him. As well with actually with him this MX5 season we did. Um, we had the choice of either putting on uh, tur turbo turbo on the car or a supercharger, so everybody had their own choice. They may have uh, had just a slight variation in what uh, what they wanted and the tunes they put in the car as well. So um, that that might be why Brian's car was a, was a bit faster up the states compared to mine. He might have a different setup, but that's where driving ability comes in. He may have a, a better setup, faster car, but I'm gonna try to maneuver around all the corners here. So again, through that corner there, Brian runs wide this time. Oh, very wide. Managed to sneak up his inside there without causing any sort of collision. So. Got past him, got fourth place. Now time to sit about Tristan, see if I can catch him. So skip forward three lap, three laps or so there. Uh, nothing really happened. Didn't catch up to Tristan much at all. I think Brian's actually fallen a bit behind, so a bit closer to Tristan now. Let's see if we can make a move on him. Tristan, both of us run a little bit wider on, onto the grass and exit of turn one. So we're both both pushing the cars to a little bit on the edge, kind of catch up with uh, Bill and Andy here right in first and second. So we go around the right hander here. Left hander there on the way down to the, the second hairpin. So a little bit too deep into that corner. No harm done though, <laughs> still managed to get a good exit. They just uh, follow his slip steam and catch him up the straight. So I wasn't able to make much of a gain there. Going around the final corner. Right, that we go. Run, run very wide, close to the wall, very close to the wall. 
didn't lose too much time thankfully though. Tires are full of mud and grass and dirt now so they're going to be a bit, uh, a bit dirty so made me go a little bit slower in the first corner there. So I skipped forward a few more laps again. Lost loads of time to Tristan but as you can see there he uh, runs wide on the exit of turn one, clips the grass and straight into the wall. But again, nothing nothing happened in those two laps. Managed to pull away from Tristan and Brian and all that so I uh, got past them. Just past Andy in the pits there so he, he went in for his first stop. My tyres are still going so managed to keep ahead of him on the grass though. So they'll be all dirty now for that next corner. Okay, skip forward now a few more laps. Um, tires are waiting quite a bit now, so put in 20 laps to go. Fresh tires are going to be more than more than perfect for uh, more than perfect for the next laps coming on. So in the pits we go. Now I haven't shown you any pit stops yet in any of my videos, and I was going to show you this one, but this track is very small and the pit lane doesn't the pit crew actually doesn't fit in the pit lane, so that was pretty pointless really. But uh, out of the pits now, Brian's, Brian's, Brian and Andy both passed me in the pits, so time to set about them and see if I can catch them. So, skip forward a few more laps, still got pretty fresh tyres, catching Brian now. I think he pitted quite a few laps before I did, so his tyres aren't going to be that fresh. Um, so I'll make the most of that and get past him as, as quick as I can. So, down to the second hairpin here. Clip the grass a little bit, it didn't didn't harm my uh, entry too much into the corner. Managed to catch up with Brian a decent amount there though. So, see if we can catch him up the straight this time. No, his car seems to have the legs of mine up there, so even with the slipstream, not really catching him too much. But he runs really deep into that corner there, thankfully, so managed to catch uh, a good chunk on him. Good exit out of that final corner, good run up the start finish straight. So uh, up the inside we go. Both break roughly about the same time, but sticking up the inside, he goes here. Quite a few taps here, he's quite aggressive, not wanting me to pass him at all, so managed to get past him though. So hopefully with these fresh tires we'll pull away from him. So we go skip forward ten laps or so there, this is us starting the final lap of the race. I think as looking at the standings on the right hand side there, Brian's dropped down uh, and uh, Mike managed to pass him. Um, if I remember rightly, I think uh, Bill and Andy were very, very far ahead, so it wasn't wasn't much chance of catching them too. So this is just the final lap of the race. Let you have a, a watch of that. Just noticed I've got some damage on the front left. I can't remember how I picked that up. But not bothering me too much, so around the last corner we go here, right across the line. So, got Bill finished first, Andy finished second, I've just finished third in awesome style, I must say. Uh, Mike comes home in fourth, Brian fifth, Tristan sixth, uh, Phil gets seventh, Eric comes home in eighth, and as far as I remember, Nathan was the ninth person, so he came home in ninth. Um, so, that was uh, race four over. Here are a couple of pictures from the race itself, so I'll leave you with these and the, the standings as well, just showing you the, the league table, so you can have a look at and see how we're all doing. But anyway, thanks very much for watching the video. I will leave um, all the links and everything in the description below. And also the details of a couple of other guys that have uh, a race with any of their channels. I don't know if they do much, but I'll leave that for you anyway. Um, but again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.